Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory be to God. By this week, the first half of 2024 will be over. Gradually, we will enter into the second half. My prayer for you is that this week will be better than every week you have had this year in Jesus' name. My prayer for you is that every plan to truncate God's plan for you shall be truncated in the name of Jesus. I welcome you to the last week of the first half of 2024. May the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. I also want to thank God for all that He has done for us. May His name be exalted. This week we'll be having just one topic, the lion's den, the lion's den. And our test will be from Psalm 35, from verses 4 through to 9. Psalm 34, Psalm 35, verses 4 through to 9. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. Thank you because you said the devil like a roaring lion, go about seeking whom he might devour for you promise us we have escape you also promise us victory you also promise us that you never leave us nor forsake us you also promise us if we submit to you and resist him he will flee from us glory be to your name for these great provisions help us to activate appropriate and take a proper advantage of these privileges in the name of jesus this week please talk to us speak to us let this fellowship glorify you in jesus name amen so like i said the topic is lion den and i'm reading the text from the good news translation i'll be using the good news translation except otherwise may those who try to kill me be defeated and disgrace May those who plot against me be turned back and confused. May they be like straw blown by the wind as the angel of the Lord pursue them. May their path be dark and slippery while the angel of the Lord strike them down. Without any reason, they have laid a trap for me and dug a deep, a deep hole to catch me. But destruction will catch them before they know it. They will be caught in their own trap and fall into their own destruction. Verse 9, the last verse. Then I will be glad because of the Lord. I will be happy because he saved me. I pray for you. pray for myself. May God save us from every cancer of the wicked, from every trap of the wicked, from every snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus. You know, every time this comes to mind, I remember the story of Joseph. And many people, unfortunately, are falling victim. Can you imagine if Joseph has killed with Potiphar's wife? He will have his free access in, in the house of Potiphar. He will enjoy privileges in the house of Potiphar. But he will never know the prison of the palace and he will never have access to palace. The scripture says in Genesis 39, if you read from verse 7, the woman seek to have him all the time because the favor of God was upon his life. Sir, so when the favor of God is upon your life, the enemy tried to rubbish it. The enemy tried to serve you Jacob's porridge so that you will mess up. But I pray for you and I pray for myself. May we not mess up in Jesus' name. Joseph did not mess up and he got to the palace. If you had messed up, we will never know. There are many people like Gehazi. Nobody, it would have been interesting to see what the double portion of Elisha anointing would do in the life of a man. But unfortunately, Gehazi never allowed us. It would have been beautiful to know what double portion on the life of Paul would have done in the life of demons. But we never had the privilege for it. I pray for you. May the lion's trap. May the lion's den not terminate you. May God keep you. 
In 2 Timothy 2 22, look at what the Bible says. That's what they, jo- Joseph did. The Bible says, Avoid the passion of youth, strive for righteousness, faith, love, and peace, together with those who, with a pure heart, call out to the name of the Lord for help. Joseph saw a way of escape created by the Lord and he took it. I pray for you at every point in time. When you are in the lion's den, may you see the way of escape and take it. In Jesus' name. Have a great Monday. God bless you.